What's up everyone and hey Barbies and Kens. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gab and today for everyone, I figured I would show you, I don't collect as we know, Funko Pops, like that's not something I tried to acquire, but I went to a flea market about three weeks ago, maybe four weeks now. I'm not gonna lie, they've been just kind of like chilling here. I've been doing a lot if you haven't caught up with my lives in the day-to-day -day. life stuff that i've been doing i meant lives but in my daily life i've been doing a lot um so i just haven't been able to sit down and film but i wanted to show you in detail some of these because i will not be taking them out of the box i figured i would display them in the box i thought they'd be better that way and i got um sets more than anything than just like one random you know odd and end together so i'm gonna show them to you here and then i'll do maybe at the end or like in between some details so you can really see uh inside the box and what they look like and the little characters i'm sorry i'm fixing my fuzzy sock it feels like it's twisting around my foot okay i got it never mind if you guys like uh i was gonna say unboxing videos not really an unboxing but showing videos like this please uh thumbs it up and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to our little family i would really appreciate it and if you haven't already check out my tiktok page as well we're almost about to hit a hundred k over there i'd really appreciate it so let's get into my first one and like i said they've been chilling for a while just waiting for someone to look at them so the first one like i said i'm gonna do you know showing you in depth then but it is scuttle from the little mermaid he is number 566 if you're interested in getting him He's the vinyl figure. He's holding a little dingle hopper. If you don't know what that means, it's a fork. And this was from the Little Mermaid 30 years anniversary that they made these. And I don't know if this has ever been opened. This part, like obviously like somebody put it in the plastic. That was another reason why I really wanted it because I know like just with having box Barbies, the boxes can get damaged. <laughs> easy so i want to see if this was ever opened before because i didn't really like mess around i just saw that it came in this it was 12.50 originally this might have been opened before for someone to look at i'm not sure let's just let's just do a peaky should we just do a peaky i mean we're here we're already at this point so let's just let's do a pink i like how i said i wasn't unboxing these but this one was a little you know okay so he's really cute out of the box that's what he looks like I'll show you obviously details of him in the box then. Um, I don't know if this was like somebody had it out of the box, displayed it, decided that they didn't want it anymore, and then put it back in, or it's just a looser box. I have no clue, but I wasn't expecting that. Because usually there's like plastic and stuff that you can't like just open them easily, but let's see. There's none on the top either. I just opened it from the bottom because it was more convenient that way. Maybe that's why the seller put them in this plastic but I mean that's what sold me on it was the plastic because that's obviously going to keep my box in like excellent condition and if they're just sitting on shelves too to dust this plastic off is just so much easier than just like messing around with a box cardboard box yeah. keeping with the same like genre we're gonna do a 568 this one, as you can see, is Little Mermaid yet again, and it is Ursula vinyl figure from the Grady Years anniversary. I grabbed it because I was like, oh my goodness, she looks so complex and like cool in her box. There was another one that was, I believe, a Grady at the anniversary, but it was a glitter Ursula one, but it was a lot more money. I think it was like $30. I was like, nope, thank you. And the price isn't on this box underneath, but I'm guessing it probably, I don't really know the price of like pops, how much they normally go for, but I'm guessing that it probably would have went for maybe like 12 or $13, like the other one. And here's all the rest of the ones you can collect on the back. <laughs> We have another one from the Little Mermaid set, and this time it is 
Prince Eric. So that's what he looks like in his box. He is number 565, uh, again, from the same line as the other ones. And he's just so freaking cute. He's holding like a little telescope, it looks like, in his hand. I love to, there's like different versions of Ariel. There's like two different versions. Surprisingly, they did the chef too. Like, there's so many other characters that like I could have thought of to do rather than that. And by the way, they have Sebastian because I thought that was weird they didn't make him. It's just not a part of the 30th collection stuff. All right, sorry about that. Doug came home for a minute and I swore like for the whole morning, this is totally off topic of the video, that somebody was like walking around in my room, like I kept hearing footsteps, stuff falling, even the other day, like stuff being moved. It was really weird. Anyways, who knows? Let's move on to the next. Now this is a totally different category. I have two in this category, uh, two of like my favorite people growing up. Figured I'd get them because I was like, no way, like I didn't know they made these. So Pop Rocks, I guess, is one of the versions. I didn't realize, like, there's different versions of that as well. What does this one say? Just Pop. Okay, well, this is Pop Rocks. And this is Sync number 111, Justin Timberlake. I love Justin Timberlake. As a child, I wore pictures of him all over my bedroom as such. And you can get the whole gang if you want to have Justin or Lance or Joey Fatone, Chris, JC, they are all here in pop version, baby. That sounded incredibly cheesy, I know, but I thought it sounded funny in my brain. Last but not least, the queen who is in a little bit of a situation herself, but will always stand a queen, Britney Spears. Pop Rocks number 98. I love this. I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness. It's her with the little boa constrictor from her Slave For You music video. As a child, if you didn't notice, I was obsessed with Britney. Dressed up like her. Uh, would sing her songs. Acted like her. It was quite too much for my parents to take. So I was like, in that nostalgia, we need to get the little Britney pop as well. I'm sorry if my voice is like bleh today. My allergies have been like through the roof and they kind of stay like this until like snow hits where I live. And then the spring, they just like pop back up again with the mold. So I apologize, but that is the pops that I got. If you guys think I should get more, maybe I will in the future and have like a nice little collection of them. I've never really looked at all the different ones you can get, but maybe I will and should and get more. What do you guys think of them? I also, like I said, I just like keeping them in the box. I keep like looking at them because I'm like, I can't imagine taking them out of the box, but I couldn't imagine taking them out of the plastics that they came in as well because I keep them, you know, looking good in the box, like fresh and crisp and not lit. So let me know what you think and if you have any yourself. I know um, a couple people who do collect them and you could show me on Instagram or my Facebook page or anywhere like that if you want to share your collection with me. But uh, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next. Bye guys.